Oh boy, it's time to farm more mentally ill children crying about me as I live rent free in their heads on Twitter. Today, I was refreshing the notifications and I saw somebody tag me. Haruhiro says, bro, it's really funny watching this ReZero fans Kaka TV get butt hurt after watching this ReZero is trash video. And I know this video. It's because we farmed this recently, right? We made, basically the goal of these videos is that I want to find someone that actually understands the stories that's beyond just like rage baiting with the most low effort possible, right? I think that young defiant guy, many of these dudes have the, like the shittiest rage bait where they say this show is bad because it's bad. I want someone to actually understand this show and like be able to have talking points that's so irrefutable, that's so bullshit and biased, but have some, you know, sprinkling of like partial truth or I can glaze it and have fun and shit on it too together. Yet there's not a single person that can do it because everyone is so intellectually dishonest when making these videos. And the whole video wasn't really me being butthurt, right? If you actually watched the video and it got received pretty well, it's me laughing at this guy and being disappointed that like, his efforts at shooting at ReZero is so lazy. I'm trying to find somebody that's actually doing it in an honest way. And I thought to myself, is this a Mushoku Tensei Glazer? Well, his Twitter is pretty interesting. <laughs> I named my dog Subaru. So it's impossible for Okainix to beat me because he's the number one Subaru butt in the world. I think that I came across a Twitter page where they claim to be like the biggest haters of this show. Yet they're like the biggest fans. Every video, why ReZero Season 2 is garbage? Why ReZero Season 1 is trash? Is it just me that can't stand Liliana singing? <laughs> okay, you're just shitting on Liliana singing right over here. <laughs> Character development, I and the Lolly Master Super responding to Chibi. Even when MT aired it multiple times said University Dark was whatever. Do you notice like a pattern of behavior here? Every post is him crying about Re zero. This might be the worst re zero arc, not gonna lie, at least. I don't know who Okianix is, but he's having like personal beef with this guy who would think he's like a re zero fan, right? This dude, Okianix, on my Insta 2 now. Uh, Okianix, re zero has the best episode, but you can't defeat Shonen fanboy. So basically, this is like a re zero enjoyer, and this entire Twitter page is dedicated towards, you know, just shitting on re zero people. Oh, what is this? I have to save this for later. Yo, is this Julius? Oh my goodness. Yo, is this my man? You, I gotta save this art for later. Bite him, Subaru. Yes, master. Two cheeks of the same ass. Reese Glazer's duo. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like homophobic like memes to shit on ReZero or something. Trash moment. Men only want one thing. It's disgusting. Just shitting on more ReZero. Did you notice that every single tweet that you're seeing here it's just him just molding at ReZero. This MC is so useless and so annoying to watch. Why are you talking about him? This is what I don't get about like people who are the most avid ReZero haters. And usually they really enjoy Mushoku Tensei, right? So far, I think that many of these people has been just like Mushoku Tensei Glazers. But sometimes you have people like this where instead of talking about the show that they enjoy, all they can do is just constantly shit. Again, more ReZero, right? I think this is the um, whatever Haruhiro is. Maybe it's a good show. You know, you got Mushoku Tensei. I love Mushoku Tensei. Emerson Shadow Peak. And you got ReZero here, I think. And just trash. Notice how like, you'll notice that there's a common pattern of behavior where people who just like are the most adamant haters of ReZero will only talk about ReZero. They'll never talk about their favorite show because they know that the easiest way to get engagement is to just rage bait. This guy actually is pretty much the same as this retard that we're farming in this video, where it's like the most laziest form of rage bait of trying to just do the most intellectually dishonest takes to try to get like negative engagement to like elicit this like negative reaction from people because it's much easier to like farm random likes on Twitter by having a negative takes that's going to trigger people compared to like having positive conversations about the show you actually enjoy. ReZero fans are so fragile, it's insane. Can't talk about the anime without them instantly thinking I'm hate watching. Honestly, I feel the same. I feel like the five episodes has been character introduction. Nothing really happened. Is it just me or ReZero really slow this season? It's been five episodes and concrete has nothing concrete has been done story-wise. This is kind of crazy, right? You're five episodes deep into season three and you don't think anything has happened? I feel like we're watching their different shows. More ReZero hate, more ReZero hate. 
more ReZero. More ReZero, hey? Subaru suddenly has the hit, you know, the, the stash. More ReZero, hey? Bro is literally just... Okay, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> this isn't actually kind of funny, babe. You know who else wore a kimono? I'm literally shaking. Well, you know that this is just like an actual fucking sarcastic meme. This one is actually funny post. But like, dude, ReZero fans talking shit is funny because ain't your guy called the little girl user? The kitty master? Your guy in universe is known being around little girls. <laughs> oh my god. Mushoku Tensei shitting on ReZero. Why can't we all just enjoy these shows together? That's what I don't get. Like, I love Mushoku Tensei. I love ReZero. But people play this shit like it's politics. Like they're Democrats or the Republicans. That you're either on my side or you're not. That like if you don't like, if you don't, if you like this show, then you're like the worst person possible. I've just scrolled mindlessly just watching every one of his posts. Yet doesn't it feel like the person saying, I got butt hurt? You didn't even watch the video, but you have Reezer living rent free in your head. Why don't you talk about Haruhiro, whatever this show is? Why is every tweet just crying about how Reezer is popping off? It's because of this, I think. Sponge, uh, Squidward mad at Patrick and SpongeBob having fun. Where is it? This. People? cannot comprehend other people enjoying something. Especially if they themselves don't like the things that the other people are enjoying. People are loving ReZero right now. It's popping off. It's so fun. And then you have the most like loser people online, the most chronically online that actually helps ReZero get more viewership. By like you are the biggest fan. There is no one more dedicated towards giving ReZero a voice compared to you. And the saddest thing is, you probably think that, like, you're owning the ReZero Glazers. But all you're doing is making, like, you know, the fandom of whatever you support look even worse. You are fucking crazy. Terminally online to the point that you fucking tagged me on a video because I actually watched this video and gave an in-depth, honest conversation about whether or not this show is bad or not. And the people that actually watched the video... They have extremely reasonable takes. Just look at the comment section. Look how civilized it is. Look at the likes to dislike ratio. But like you can't comprehend because you're not here to have a conversation. You are an NPC programmed to automatically think that if someone enjoys ReZero or if ReZero is even mentioned, that they're trash, that it must be bad. You are such a closed minded child. But what do you expect? This is Twitter. This is the cesspool of the internet where any fucking monkey can have an opinion. And the more negative and stupid it is, the easier it is to get likes like this. It's also sad because this person that I'm dunking on right now probably has the most sad, pathetic life. Only super depressed, lonely, isolated people resort to behavior like this where all you do is dedicate your limited time in this world to hating on a show on Twitter. Do you think happy, fulfilled people that are enjoying their lives would engage in this kind of behavior? Absolutely not. It's only the most pathetic, terminally online people that would ever... Actually, I, I, I do really enjoy this Yulia Sart, so thank you for showing me that. But it, it's just crazy to me that you think that you did something by tagging me. And this is the best part. The best part of this is that my job is to farm the mentally ill children crying online as either me or my takes or the show that they hate lives rent free in their lives. And just because they have 13 followers, I will always, always farm you. If it's a lazy rage bait, then I won't. But like people have this notion that like I'm bullying someone. No, I think that I'm very, very reasonable and not discriminatory. Just because you have 13 followers, just because your single tweet got one whole like that you probably liked yourself and retweeted it on your own account and an alt account that got 146 to you. Do you think this is doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. But I'm still going to farm you. And I'm going to show everyone how stupid you are. Then I'm going to make money off of you. And then you are going to have this humiliation ritual. And you're probably going to get obsessed with me. And then you'll create even more content for me to farm. So thank you for the mental illness.